Hi everybody, Animal here. Welcome to another episode of Animal Builds. Today we're going to be doing the most important minecart unload. So it, it is really important to have a good minecart unloader. Um, this one, this one is actually the best one that I have found so far. This is the one that I used for just about everything. Um, any kind of farms that you built, any auto farms, uh, anything like that, even if you want to use it for your mine, um, you know, send something up to the surface. This would actually be one of the best ways to, to build it, to go around it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into it. So with the, with the rail line already set up, wherever you decide to place your harbor, go ahead and place the chest right there, um, right on top of the hopper. Now, I would actually suggest building this two blocks off of the ground, unless you, you do want to build it into the ground, if you want your rail line flush with the ground level. But you do, uh, you, you crouch place your, your, uh, your powered rail right over the hopper. Then you're going to come back two blocks right there. You're going to take that one out, and you're actually going to put in, where is it at? Oh, it's actually right there. A detector rail. Now make sure it does have to be two blocks back. Okay. So now we're going to come off of the side right here. Not with the hopper. There we go. And then instead of on the hopper right there. We're actually going to go on the ground. Then up one. And then back down on the ground. And this is actually why I recommend building it one above the ground level. Plus if you have farms. A tower of farms it works better. So we are going to do one redstone. Skip a space. Skip the other one for right now, and then two more redstone to the detector rail. I'm going to go ahead and knock this block out right here, because we will need to use that one. Go ahead and make this live. We'll put our redstone torch on the back right here. Next, we'll do the comparator. Let's see, it goes, it goes facing away from the rail. Now we have two repeaters. The repeaters go, one goes here facing the rail, and then the opposite one faces the opposite direction away from the rail. Technically, this is this is complete. All we have to do is put a minecart on it, have the minecart collect something, and now you have a fully functional uh, minecart unloader. And th this does work perfect for, for bedrock. The little uh, detector rail is what we have to put to make it work on bedrock. But if I come over here and throw a whole bunch of blocks down on the track, it'll pick them up and it'll come over here and it will actually unload every single block and then it will push it back off. So if you do want to go ahead and pause it right here, you can get the front side and then we'll go around to the back side so that way if you do want to pause it. Once you've built this a couple of times, it's, it's pretty much memorized at that point. That'll be it. If you've made it this far into the video, I would like to say thank you and I appreciate it very much. Possibly consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification for all of the updates as well. We do have a community discord that is now available. The link will be below in the description.